back. So today is going to be probably the most highly requested video on my channel and I don't know why you guys like my hair so much but this video is going to be all about my hair. So basically it's going to be my hair care routine, um, the products I use, what tools I use on my hair. I'm going to be talking about the color of my hair as well. I do want to put a disclaimer out there that I am in no way, shape, or form a cosmetologist. I, that's just something I'm throwing out there. This video is not to educate you guys. It's not to like give you professional advice. Basically, this is the hairstyle that I always wear and you guys are always asking about. I wore it for this video just to kind of like show you guys. This is my natural hair. I get tons of questions on people asking me like, do you do anything to your hair? Do you put any products in it? Um, is that your natural hair? Yes, it is. And it is slightly enhanced by a tool that I use, and I will show you guys that in a second. But I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a hair backstory about me. Um, I have been blonde my entire life. I was born blonde. I had like white hair growing up, and my hair has always been very curly and like wavy. I guess you would call this wavy. But it's always just been really wavy. I do have pretty fine hair but it's very like texturized and I think that's because I'm half Italian. Um, I have never really colored my hair. I have been brunette like a total of three times in my 22 years of life. I just, I've always been a blonde. I feel like being blonde is almost part of my personality and I know that sounds really stupid, but every time I'm not blonde, I don't feel myself and it's just the only color I like on myself. So I do get highlights. I don't color my hair like all over with bleach. That would be like extremely drying. What I basically do when I go to my hairstylist is I tell her that I want my blonde to be um, dimensional. I don't want it to be one flat color, but I do want it more on the icy side. So basically what she does is she will give me a full head of highlights. Um, I know hairstylists do it differently, but she like weaves them throughout my hair. So it's not just like stripes of highlights. And then when she rinses my hair, um, she'll also tone it. And toning your hair, obviously, is how you get that more white, icy blonde. And I also use special products between visits to the hair salon that help maintain the icy color. So for me, I am a pretty like low-maintenance blonde. I know being blonde sometimes can be a high-maintenance hair color. I know a lot of people say that it's a high-maintenance hair color, but I personally think it's only high-maintenance if you're not a natural blonde or um, if you are coming from a very dark color. Before I highlighted my hair, I would just wash it with a regular shampoo and conditioner from the drugstore and my hair was fine. I use a purple shampoo and conditioner and the purple color in your shampoo and conditioner cancels out the brassiness and it like lightly tones it, not as much as your hairstylist will tone it at the salon, but it's a little bit for you to do at home to help maintain the cool tone blonde. The ones that I use are by Regis and it's the Design Line Super Silver Shampoo and Conditioner and they look like this. They're both violet. Um, I use this every time I wash my hair. I wash like once or twice a week. I know it's not good for any hair color to wash your hair all the time because it strips the natural oils out of your hair and especially because I put bleach in my hair it's more on the dry side. So I try to avoid washing my hair as much as possible. Obviously I still shower like every day because that's gross, but I don't always wash it when I shower. I use dry shampoo every day and I don't know if you guys can see, but it doesn't really look greasy. Um, maybe a little bit in the back, like at the crown of my head, but that's basically it. Um, so yeah, I wash my hair like once or twice a week and that really helps too. Um, it's actually really good for your hair. I would look into it if you guys don't already do that. Once every two weeks, I will use a special conditioner that my hairstylist told me about. This conditioner I'm gonna talk about, I am obsessed with you guys. And if any of you guys are blonde or you get your hair highlighted, I highly recommend picking this up because it's amazing. It's by Redken and it's the Blonde Idol Custom Tone Conditioner. And this stuff is like magic if you're blonde. This basically has a dial that you can adjust. It goes from one to six, so the instructions say to use it once a week for six weeks, and it will basically adjust the level of violet in the conditioner, and it's a leave-in conditioner that you leave in for like five to 10 minutes. Um, when I use this, I put it all the way up on the six setting, and I let it sit in my hair for 10 minutes. And if you do that, it literally gives you like silver purple hair, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, it washes out, but I use this when I notice my hair is starting to get really, really yellow or really, really brassy, and this just like instantly takes care of it, and it lasts 
for about a week or two and then you have to use it again. I really love this stuff. It is like $32, so it's expensive. I highly recommend this. This definitely like saves my hair in between visits to the salon. Between um, washes, I will use dry shampoo, like I said. But the one that I've been using lately that I really like is the Batiste dry shampoo and it's the original one. They do have one for blondes that has like a color in it that's supposed to like help color up your roots so they don't look as dark. I don't know, that scares me because it's yellow and I, I feel like it would just put like a yellow film on my hair and my blonde isn't super yellow so I feel like that would look really bad. The last product I wanted to mention going along with like washing your hair and like um, hair care I guess is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. I've heard a lot of people talk about this and everyone like loves it. I will say that this is kind of like a heavy product. I can definitely feel it in my hair, which I don't like at all. I use like the smallest amount of this and I spritz it mainly on my ends. I don't even put it up in my roots because that would just be a disaster. I really like this if you use a small amount. So I do use that. So I basically told you all of the products that I use and how I care for my hair. And now I'm gonna answer like the biggest question I think I've ever gotten on my channel about my hair. This is my natural hair. However, my hair does not look good every day. When you have wavy hair, it looks bad more often than it looks good because the waves are never like uniform and one is like always way bigger than the other and I'll have like a cowlick here sometimes where my hair like naturally flips up like this and then this side is like slicked back and it's just like really weird and it kind of looks like a rat has been living on my head for 10,000 years. There is a hot tool that I found that works really well in the sense that it like gives you more of like a uniform wavy look and it's really really similar to the way my waves naturally look. If you have naturally like fine hair that doesn't hold volume really well, doesn't hold curl really well, um, you may not have the best luck with it but I'm slow to mention it. So this is by Revlon and it's only like $20 at Walmart and basically anywhere you can buy hot tools. So it's really affordable. Um, and it basically looks like this. This is a triple barrel crimper, but it basically looks like this. And when I use it, I will put it up to the highest heat setting, which is so bad, but it's not that bad if you're using a heat protectant, which is this. I will use it with like this um, solid part at the top and I will grab like three inch sections that are like humongous and I literally just start at the roots and then I'll hold it for a couple seconds and then I reline it up and then I keep going. And if you use really big sections, um, it literally takes you like five minutes and your hair will look super wavy and beachy. I have probably purchased three of these. The only bad thing is it is 20 bucks but it only lasts like a year if you use it a lot. Um, this is my third one, but it's really great and it has like something at the end where it like keeps it shut so it's good for storage if you guys care about that. On the days where my hair is like naturally like this and it looks really good, I will use a texturizing spray, which I really love. I have been using this for like three or four years now. I have been using this forever, but it's the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Sea Salt Texturizing Spray and this stuff is amazing. It smells like summer. This is only like $4 at CVS, so it's honestly worth it. And I will just spray this in my hair and then kind of like scrunch it and this gives it so much volume and it makes it look so wavy. The last product I wanted to mention, I only use this when I want like a humongous hairstyle if I'm using something, if I'm doing something like theatrical or something like that. Um, I don't use this a lot because it's crazy volumizing. But I mention this because if you guys do have really fine hair or you have a hard time keeping a style in your hair, this is amazing. It's the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. I have the mini one. Um, I used this in my fairy makeup tutorial for Halloween last year and I left my hair like this and then I put this in my roots and it was literally like up to here and it like stayed like that. Um, the only downside to this is it really feels like you have something in your hair and I'm a big like texture person like if something feels weird to me I don't I don't like it because I touch my hair a lot um that's just me but if you guys aren't bothered by texture or you could care less then this is really really good it is white um so you're gonna have to brush it out if you have darker hair because it will show up in your hair but because my hair is on the lighter side I don't really have a problem with that so yeah, that is basically everything that I use in my hair. It kind of seems like a lot now that I sat down and like put it all in one place and talked about it. 
but I can assure you guys that I am like so low maintenance when it comes to my hair and I should probably be a little bit better with it, but I'm not into hair. I went to school for skin and that's what I care about is my skin and not my hair. Um, I should probably care about it a little bit more. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this video, so I finally made it. Um, I was just hesitant because like I said, I'm not a hair expert, so I don't want you guys to think I'm coming off as like I know everything when I don't. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this answered all of your questions about anything you wanted to know. If I didn't address something that you guys wanted to know, go ahead and ask me in the comments. All of my social media and my links and anything you guys may need to know from this video will all be listed in the description box below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Thank you, everyone. My cats are like killing each other right now. Hold on. My hair looks so bad. Today is definitely a bad hair day. Faux show. Sure.